All righty guys, Cole from Vital Fishing. What's going on out here today at Bartlett Lake? It's a hot one. I mean, it's definitely pretty windy, so that has kind of kept it cool, but I'm sweating. I've been here a few hours. Uh, fishing's pretty good, not anything huge, um, but catching some decent ones, shaky head, crankbait, couple on a spinnerbait, couple on a jig, but that shaky head and that crankbait, I think that crankbait bite's about to get pretty good here. I'm back in this cove right now, and we're actually starting to get a lot of shad moving in. Fisher sporadically kind of starting to bust. Um, so I think that top water bite should get going here in the next, let's see, 4.30, hour and a half, I'd say. About the next hour and a half, it should get going pretty good. That crankbait bite's starting to pick up, so let's keep filming on the GoPro and see if we can't catch some more. First one of the day is running with it. I bet you there's another one tucked in there. Let's see. Little Berkeley Max scent, green pumpkin. I want a little shaky rig. Nice little barlet chunk. Swing them in, but a little bigger than the other one. Little owner. Weedless head right there, seven inch green pumpkin. Fun little barlet fish. All right, we might be on something here. It's two back to back. Alright guys, apologize for the wind noise here, but it's really important when you do have this wind to really watch your line. I didn't feel each of those fish. I mean, both of them just saw my line kind of jump and, you know, you just got to trust it that they're there. So, start seeing your line swim away, reel up the slack and set the hook. Oh yeah, feels like a good one right there. Oh yeah, solid part of the fish. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh my goodness gracious. Fish is just fighting like a tank. I got 15 pound cigar smackdown to eight pound fluorocarbon. This dude is fighting. He's a thick one. He's a thick one. Okay. Come here, fish. Yeah. Chunk. Berkeley Max scent. Ripped it up. Solid little fish. This dude was fighting like crazy. Later. We got a good one here. Not that big. Not that big. Fish, nonetheless, though. Oh, on the old shaky head. Popped right out. Little guy. Man, small. Let's see if we can get back in there and catch him. Oh yeah. Oh. Nice fish. Nice fish. Get out of that tree. Get out of that tree. That's what I'm talking about. Missed him first time. I thought he was a little guy by the way he hit. Solid little two pound chunk though. I'm just ripping right there. I only got eight pound test. Probably should be using 10, but that's okay. Solid chunk. All right, come here. Come here, fish. Fun little Bartlett chunk right there. Probably about uh, just under two pounds. Got a nice little 
belly on her. Pretty little fish. There it is. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish right there. Where you at? It's a healthy fish right there. All right, guys, the old shaky head does it again. This one looks like a pretty good chunk right here. Maybe even three pounder. Two and a half, three, maybe more, who knows? No, about two and three quarter. Nope, maybe not, it's about two pounder right there. Not big at all, but catch those all day, a lot of fun. Roof of the mouth. Solid. Need a new max scent. Need a new max scent. Ooh, that's a good one right there. It's a good fish. What do we got here? It almost feels like a cat. Either a good bass or a nice coat. What do we got here? I think it's a catfish. Feels like a flathead. I hope it's a bass. Fighting like a catfish. Oh, that's a nice bass. Nice bass. Oh, yeah. Check that out right there. Stud. Kind of hooked them a little funny, but nice solid two and three quarter, three pounder right there. DT10, solid fish. Fish. Oh, look at him running. Not giant, not giant, but fun little shaky head fish, nonetheless. Yeah. Your bar lit average right there. Little skinny guy, post bone. Alright guys, basically what I'm doing right here, I'm sitting on this spot, it's a little cut. And it kind of deepens off right in the middle and there's these Christmas trees, old bushes that are flooded. And I'm kind of just mixing up my retrieve with this DT-10 throwing disco shad. Um, these shad kind of have a silverish hue to them. Uh, that'll happen. That'll happen, but that's part of it. Um, usually when you hit those trees, you kind of pause it and it floats up and it kind of comes on down. And a lot of times that's when you'll get hit. But getting snagged, getting caught up, it's part of the game. So we're gonna go over here and see if we can't pop this out. Sometimes if the, oh, someone else is lying, but sometimes when you snag it like that, kind of just do a maneuver like this and it kind of just turns those hooks. Same way kind of bass kind of come up and shake that hook out. Use that leverage to get it out. But here I'm gonna kind of burn it, burn it, burn it. Pause, burn, 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 pause. I'm kind of just, oh, see I just hit a stick right there, but kind of just moving, moving that bait around, mixing it up, covering a lot of water. I mean, I know there's fish in this area, so I, I keep making the same cast. Um, you'll catch one, start fishing some other spots, go back to that same spot, catch one. Kind of just revolve, there's a lot of shad in the area right now. So I can just see them busting over here a little bit. Some of the little ones are starting to get going, it's a little early. Uh, there is some big fish in here though, in this pocket, there is some good sized fish. And I'm thinking they're going about to get going here in a little bit, so I'm hoping we can't get, in, get into some good ones here. See that right in front of me way out. Some fish are busting, but a whole bunch of Christmas trees here, just kind of ticking the tops, hitting them, letting it bounce over. I mean, they're definitely down there, they've, they've seen, I don't know hundred casts already so you just got to kind of do something different and get them to 
react to it. I don't get a bit on this next cast. We're probably gonna take a break, go throw the shaky head around, and then come up. But we do have some wind coming up here, so that may be good. Let's see if we can't catch one right here. Now the other day there's a little bit of a shad spawn going on and they were popping them pretty good in this little cove. The water has dropped a couple feet since I was here last. There's a fish right there. There he is. There he is. A little chunk. A little chunk on the shaky head. A lot of fun on this lighter spinning gear. A little fat right there. A little chunk. Alright guys, so I broke off on that fish, he took me under, check this out right here. That's my crankbait, that's the fish right there. Yeah. Crankbait, and you got your fish back. Alright guys, saw a little chunk right there. That was crazy. water right there storm arashi cover pop little chartreuse shad right there money what i love about this bait is the hooks are so thick on this like you saw i have 15 pound mono right there i just had a full hook set once you got them you can swing them i mean a lot of power you're not dealing with your typical light wire treble hook so bait's awesome give it a try Alright guys, I think that's going to conclude today's video. It was a fun day, you know, didn't catch a ton of big fish. I uh, caught a couple good, decent Bartlett fish. I uh, definitely caught some numbers. It's nice to be back out here. I haven't been to Bartlett quite a while. I mean, look at that. Kind of smoky. There's a fire right now. Look at that. It's like perfectly calm now. It's pretty windy all day. Finally, the wakeboard boats got off. Those dudes are... <sighs> Not going to say anything about the wakeboard boats, but... Whatever. So I'm probably gonna crank this bank real quick and I'm gonna head over to the, 
the yellow cliffs boat ramp and i'm gonna i'm gonna get out of here so i appreciate you guys watching be sure to to like this video and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one